Hey guys, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com bringing you a how-to video on how to use the GR Level 3 software that I've been talking about and been using to track storms with severe weather. Right now you're looking at the actual website that is brought to you by GR Level 3 and the images below are tropical images which we're not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to get into how to show you how to use this software for the United States. If you want to use it for the tropical weather and all that, you're going to have to update it and pay for it. And so right now, if you go to this site, you're going to download a free version of the software. So, going down to the bottom a little bit, where you see downloads, right here on the top left corner, you'll see downloads. And the first couple you're going to want to download is going to be the GR Level 3 Setup and the GR Level 3 Update. What you want to do is you want to go and install the up, uh, setup first, and then you're going to do the update second. But do not actually run the program until you've done the update. So in other words, start up the setup first agree to all of the settings because this there is no actual malware or spyware in this software I have scanned it with the vast and AVG and it's perfect the setup goes first like I said then the update make sure you do it in that sequence now if you want to play around with the tropics and uh, airports and runways and all that stuff you can go and download that on your own play with it if you know how to use the software but I'm not going to do that yet because I have not gotten into that myself so I've got the GR Level 3 already open on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and go straight into playing around with the GR Level 3 program. So I'm going to maximize that and zoom in on the places where I want to go and show you how to use this software. First things first, we're going to go ahead and review the top left hand corner menu. I'm going to go through the basics so you can track storms with us. On the top left hand side you'll see File, View, Site, Products, GIS, Windows, and Help. Also on the top left hand corner, there's a second area where there's buttons as you see here. One says Start, Archi Start Archiver, sorry. If you click that, it'll actually download an update from the internet of the loop, basically, of the actual tracing of the storms, if you will, of where the storms are heading. Uh, it's going to uh, do an outline for the actual loop. And then, of course, you can press play and it'll loop your the way your area looks as far as the storms go and tracking the storms. So we got that down. We're going to pause that now. These other buttons right here really are not that uh, just basically tracking buttons kind of like on Google Earth. You can actually pinpoint the, mi uh, the miles away from each cell and that's going to be in a later video. Right now just as, again this is just the basics. Now what you want to do is, if you're in a different state, I'm in Texas, so I got Texas as my main state coming up as I load GR Level 3. What you want to do is, if you want to go ahead and change that, you can select Site, and then go to Settings, and right here you'll see it says Set Startup Site. You can click here. This is where the San Antonio, Texas, as you see where I'm at. Click Change, and you can basically choose your state and go ahead and click OK and it will actually update you next time you start the GR Level 3 it will come up in that state so that's uh, one thing the second thing is your products inventory the products inventory list this is something that you may not want to play around it's already set generally for the Doppler radar Doppler radar checks all the downloads and updates from uh, the National Weather Service and all that the services in your area so you want to use the products here that's fine but right now when you have download it and set it up it's already going to be set general for general information you got to be a real expert to actually set that up if you're storm chasing stuff like that that's definitely not what we do here we actually just uh, track the storms as, as they go on through so that's up to you to change any of this what you want to do is if you want to look at warnings or watches and you're just sitting here with the radar sitting in your state you what you want to know exactly what's going around in the United States well that's a very very simple thing to do on the products where we're at right now I just want to go down and make sure that the warnings is checked if the warnings are checked then you're good to go so leave that checked that's the only thing that you gotta do here the second thing that you gotta do is go to Windows Windows is basically of course you know the windows that we're looking at on each side of the program itself so you go to Windows and then you go down into where it shows show warnings window you click on that and here pops up a warnings window so let's take a look at this together I'm bringing this in the middle so we can take a look at it together warnings menu now I've got different colors set for the different warnings 
the way I do it is I do it uh, red for tornado warnings and yellow for severe thunderstorm warnings and blue for watches, uh, flood watches. Right now there's not that much going around the United States. We got severe thunderstorm warnings for these areas. Now if you double click that area where there's a severe thunderstorm and move this out of the way, you'll see all the activity that we're looking at right now. There's the markers here. I'm going to move this. These green markers show the cells and the tracking of the cells. The line here that you see is where the cell is moving and what lo location and direction. Now you may not have all the counties on yours when you load up yours. So what you want to do for the counties, and I'll show you that here. So what you want to do here is go to GIS. GIS has a lot of selections here. So you want to go ahead and choose select or show base counties. I'm sorry. Show base counties and you can show, show city names. Uh, show radar sites. I've got them all checked because I like the way it is when they're all checked and it looks pretty cool when they're all checked so you definitely want to do that. If that, It's totally up to you. Uh, pretty much that's about it. So again you're right here you're wondering why you can't push the play button to run the loop. Once again don't forget on the top left corner here is your start archi archiver which is uh, little uh, pieces of paper looks like you click it to download the update. Usually it doesn't take very long if you have high speed internet. Now you can actually push your play button and see the movement of the storms. And as you see the movement, you see little watch boxes come up. The yellow watch boxes right here indicate a severe thunderstorm. And so the next thing that you want to do, you want to see what the news is on that severe thunderstorm. So if you can go up to the pause button and when it shows that yellow box, you want to go ahead and pause it. So right there, I paused it, and on the yellow box, you see the line. Go ahead and click the line, and when you click the line, something come up like this as a text box. It shows here, severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Crawford County is in effect until midnight central daylight time. It gives you locations and updates, just as you would in your own area, look up the severe thunderstorm update. So... Again, guys, this is a really good software. You can definitely check it out. Let's take a look at these flood warnings. We got a flood warning here for Ohio. That's a flood warning right there in Ohio. These blue uh, indicators, the blue boxes in indicate the flood warnings. So let's go and do our archive, play it, and there is your flood warnings. Now, these states might get in the way a little bit. So again, go to GIS, and you can go ahead and remove uh, show county names right here it's what we're supposed to do show county names and then I'll remove all the county names so you can see where it's going so if you know your map really well in your area and you're pretty good with that you really don't need anything so once again guys this is pretty much a how-to video on how to use the GR level 3 software where to download it and of course I would pay for it it's a great program and uh, definitely support the guy who does it so I want to thank everybody for watching Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.